Hey YouTube, Commander Tech here. Today we're going to be looking at the new iCloud website. It is iCloud.com and I am on it now. So this is basically what it looks. I'm going to sign on. This is a beta so this will be released in the uh, fall time frame. So there we go. Now we can add a photo of myself, change the language, and the time zone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and change the time zone to Toronto. There we go. English, yeah. Done. There we go. So it is very animated -y. Here you can ha get links to the developer uh, beta site. And then here you have your iWork. Find my iPhone, calendar, contacts, and mail. Uh, so let's just click I work first and work to our left. So this is where all your uh, application data uh, for pages, keynote, and numbers will end up. So from your iOS device and probably your Mac, it would all go up to here. Uh, so I tried this and it didn't work. Uh, so I'm sure it will work some other time. And then you can always click the little cloud on the top right hand, top left hand corner usually, and there you go. Uh, Find My iPhone isn't integrated yet. It will ask you to go to the me.com website. Calendar is something that works. Here we are. Uh, so we have my events here. And you can uh, view in day, week, month, and list. This button right here is your notifications. Uh, so let's say you got to do homework or something. Uh, you'll be set and it will remind you. You can also, uh, when you're looking at, let's say, a month or whatever, you can uh, view reminders or dis view reminders and also you can always select the calendars such as home, work and everything else. Here you have the slider for the months. You can also go to 2012 and get the months on that. Right here on the bottom right hand corner is the event so if you wanted to create event there you go and as always this is always uh, gonna be syncable to iCloud so let's say your iPhone or iPad or iPod and as well as the Mac as well this is the web right now so the web here you have your preferences uh, so your you can change your appearance the format alerts also create new events, reminders, calendar, uh, delete events, go to a date, hide reminders and all that. So let's just go back to the cloud iCloud home and contacts. So at the moment my contacts aren't synced up to the iCloud. Um, this isn't my personal iCloud account, this is the awesome commander tech account so yeah but this is basically it so you can add contacts here change it this looks a lot like the iOS app uh, so if I wanted to add someone there we go add their address whatever cancel or if I edited it done I can edit this contact my contact so when you sync your contacts to the iCloud they're all be here no matter if it's your iPhone or the web back to the cloud and then we get to mail so there we go it just loads up and this is your mail so let's say your uh, dot me either way and then here's my notes if I had notes saving uh, from my let's say iPhone uh, you know how you have the notes app and then you can uh, have it either on your phone or your email address and so that's basically it so uh, this is going to be your dashboard right here so you got uh, five apps so 
whether you want to call it a dashboard or a home screen, this is it. So you'll have your name on the top, then you can click your name at the top and click view account, sign out, or cancel. This looks a lot like the iOS options. Uh, this looks really cool. This looks like an app that would be for the iOS devices, but this is not really a web app, but this is the web. Uh, so you got you're always gonna have your mail, contacts, calendar, find my iPhone, and iWork. Not all of these work, such as uh, find my iPhone. It directs you to dot me website. So that's basically it. Uh, you can uh, get this now if you have the beta software, and if you don't, that's okay. The official release uh, will be in the fall, so expect it then. I'll be getting more coverage of iCloud and other awesome stuff. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm Commander Tech, and I am signing out.